And we're back with uh, Zoo Tycoon 2. Let's see, look at these uh, these brooms. I'm cleaning up this trash. Uh, but we're back with our Wolverton Animal Rehabilitation Center. Uh, I think is what it's called. It's something along those lines. Oh, guests need bathrooms. Alright, uh, guests need a... I love that I have, like, 20 arms. That's really helpful for cleaning up the zoo. See, if I got a maintenance worker, they've only got, like, two arms. They can only sweep one piece of trash at a time, and it takes them a while, but... Alright, so they've got one restroom there. And this is the only... I can only buy the small restroom for now. So the question is, do I want to buy a second small restroom and then sell it once... We get access to the large restroom or just pulled out and wait. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, uh, so this is the Wolverton Center. It doesn't say anything about animals or rehabilitation. So, uh, you know. Uh, but anyway, this zoo, I, I double checked, and it is in Sweden, not Norway. Norway is the one on the coast, and Sweden is the one that's further inland. Uh, so, this is a Swedish zoo, as it were. And uh, we just recently added these uh, two desert animals. Are they talking to each other? I don't think so. Uh, Common Super 1 is now pregnant. Excellent. Pregnant, yes. Excellent. So, uh, in the meantime, we are going to start planning our next exhibit. We don't have an even sort of enough money for it, but we are going to begin planning it. I don't want those... You know, P-Files would actually be a really nice choice. They're very cheap. Um, you know, I could almost, honestly... And they're probably, it says Temper Forest, but they'd probably be fine with this Boreal Forest, too. They can't swim, so if there's any deep water, that might be an issue. But... Unfortunately, so in real zoos, what they'll do is they'll just have the peafowl running about the zoo and, you know, just kind of chilling. But in Zoo Tycoon 2, if you do that, the guests will be afraid of the peafowl for their lives. Which, you know, it's, nah, it's just one of those things. Wow. Nope. Oop. Gotta get that. Got to, uh, clean that up. Oh, since we have one star, I believe that means... Do we have the compost? No, we don't have the compost building available to us yet. Oh, well, that's regretful. But, oh, okay, we've got $2,000. And since I love being extra tight for cash, I'm going to spend all 2000 of those dollars immediately and get this uh, male scimitar horned oryx to complement the female... Scimitar Horned Oryx, and that means that hopefully they might mate and produce a Scimitar Horned Oryx offspring, which would be a great boon to my zoo. It would. Hi, who are you? British Shock is not having a good time. Uh, that's fair. I guess all that stuff is over there, and there's nothing over here. I could put some stuff over here, maybe. I don't have enough money to do that. Oh, dear. Well, I think this is probably going to be mostly a money-making episode, where I can get enough money to actually build stuff and adopt more animals. Like these emperor penguins, for instance, which I really want to have, because so far we haven't had any emperor penguins in any of our zoos. And, you know, they're pretty cool. You know, look at them. They're... They're... They're pretty cool, I think. Oh, I'm a big fan of the Emperor Penguin, so, um... Oh, sweet! Is that the compost building? No, it's not. Is that the... No, it's not the stone path, either. What about concrete fence? No, it's not that, either. So they say new objects are available for purchase, but basically it's just a big... Ooh, Grizzly Bear 2 is now pregnant! That's nice. I'm pretty sure one of our moose is also... Yes! One of our moose is also pregnant. Which is great. Of course, it means that, um... This exhibit is not going to be large enough for three moose. So 
probably right before the baby is born, I'm gonna put the big guy in a crate. Just leave him off to the side of the exhibit for the duration of the baby's babyhood. And then when it grows up, I'll release it to the wild, and then I'll, you know, take the male moose out of his crate and then make another one. You know, rinse, wash, and repeat, or something like that. Alright, alright, I'm getting a maintenance worker. And... Oh! Since I bought the maintenance worker now, I don't have enough money for a... Another African spur tortoise. Well, I'll just sit here and wait. You know, it shouldn't be too long. We're already at 1,939. Uh, so we just... Ah, see, going up, going up. So I'm looking for flamingos. I want to have flamingos in here. This exhibit is already pre-made. All I would have to do is add another uh, food dish for the flamingos. Here we go. And then, ooh, Nile Monitor. Nah. Uh, and then I could have, like, the beaver and then, like, four flamingos. I know that flamingos aren't North American animals. I'm pretty sure there are some flamingos. In there. Like, isn't that a thing? There's, like, a special type of South American. South American. There are South American flamingos, but not North American. Ah, perfect! Greater Flamingo. And then I was also thinking about maybe having a Galapagos giant tortoise exhibit somewhere over here. Of course, that'll be significantly more expensive. These are 3000 a piece, and I... No, they probably don't require very much space, though. I'm wondering if I could fit it in here, or if that might raise some red flags. Or I could put it... Oh, no, this would be a perfect area for, like, a guest area right here. I'd smooth that out. Yeah. Because my only other guest area is all the way over there. And then, I think that's what I'll do. Is I'll smooth this out for a guest area. I don't want to use the flatten tool because the path... And, yeah, see, there's this nice... Or not nice, but there's this ridge here that I, if I flattened it, then it would become very apparent. So I'm just going to try and smooth the ridge as much as possible. And then... Alright, that's, uh, that's definitely enough. Uh, and... Excellent. And then once I've got enough money, I'll, uh... I'll start on that. The guest area. But first, I'm going to put down some greater flamingos. They're 2,000 apiece. Ooh, build statues, playgrounds, and kiosks. Um, yeah, we don't really have anything like that. I have to research... Which I suppose I can do, you know, it's not impossible for me to research things. Oh, I can put down this nice flower post that I won in the last, um... I'm just gonna put it down right there. There or there, maybe there. Not too expensive, and it looks nice. There's a duck. A duck! Uh, and then, yep, we'll, um... Yeah, we don't really have much in the way of mineral deposit. Looks nice, but it's seven hundred fifty dollars. That's kind of a lot. That's five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Not bad. Four hundred dollars. See, then the research cost for this is five hundred dollars to research. That's maybe a bit more than I want to pay. I got this discovery kiosk, but it's really expensive. I can almost buy a whole new animal for that. And yet, this discovery kiosk would look really nice in front of these moose. I think... Uh, yep, I suppose I'll spend the money on this. Yep, I'm doing it. My tortoises, what are they doing? Being snapped. Turtle. Oh. Tortoise. 
Oh, you in the grass. You want to uh, you want to get dinner sometime? Looks like it. Moose One is going to give birth. Oh, yeah, so since Moose One is going to give birth, I, well, I'll, I'll wait and see. You never know. For all I know, it uh, it could uh, it could be plenty of space. Who knows? Although I really, really doubt it. So, uh, you know, oh, we should probably... Uh... Yep. Yeah, oh, two mooses. Wow, that's unexpected and a little bit problematic, actually. Uh, because now, even if we... Great. Then, yeah. Oh, no, actually. Turns out, three moose is fine. So then, let's see what we got. We got a male and a female. Two mooses, or meese, if you prefer, in a litter. Uh, of course, I suppose these would be mosslings, such, 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 such as it were. Such as it is. Uh, oh my goodness. Precious. That's that's a keeper right there. Yep. Even with the black bars on the side. And we have enough money. Ah, so now this is this is where it comes down to it. Do I buy a greater flamingo or do I buy the discovery kiosk? Well I could have six flamingos. That's uh a lot. That's too many. I'm not going to have all six flamingos. Besides, that's like $12,000, and I really don't want to spend that. But I am definitely going to start with one. Yeah, we'll do that. Ugh, I just lost half a star. Ugh. But here we go. What? Greater Flamingo 1 needs more space? I mean rats. Ugh. Well, I got my money back at least, which is good because unfortunately I don't get it back here. So now I can only get five flamingos max. Ah, scimitar horned oryx one is now pregnant. This is excellent news. We have a critically endangered baby, and then that'll just be that's just stellar. It's great. It's excellent. Also, ah, I just lost five hundred dollars because the month changed, and I had to pay upkeep and pay my staff or some nonsense like that uh, but here we go here is our discovery kiosk watch it I just spent a thousand five hundred dollars on this thing so my guests better enjoy it Zoo. okay baby Asian elephant Dancing, just dancing. After wild dogs. Ooh, Juvon Rhinoceros. No, no, don't leave, no, don't leave! Ah! Here we go. Oh, it starts up. I wonder how long it loops. What? Why did they. They're still standing here! Oh, okay. Wait, can I? Hang on, let me just get right. There we go. Oh man, really? Yeah, here we go. Nah, oh, rats. Oh, maybe that's the end. The sky tram is the last. Oh, and then it loops. Yeah, see, there, there. It was, it was the, the first. T, T, it loops. Okay, so we've seen the whole thing. But hang on, now I want to get inside. Can I do that again? Let's just stop moving. I want to see through your glass. <laughs> I need to find someone standing still. Like, no, he's not wearing glasses. Nice hat! I like the hat. Alright, is there stuff in my zoo that I need to worry about? No, I don't think so. I can find someone with glasses. Did you have glasses? Yes. Oh, uh, wrong kind of glasses. Okay, here we go. Are you gonna stand in line? Yes! Excellent. Oh, no, 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 wait. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ah, I can't get close enough because of the hot dog stand. God. If she sits down, I'm not going to be able to see through her glasses. Alright. Here, do you have glasses? Good enough. Ah! Oh! And we're taking picture, too! Ah! 
excellent. This is everything I ever wanted. <laughs> to be able to look at grizzly bears through someone else's glasses. <laughs> oh, really? Really? You're doing this? Oh, there, there, there. Hi! Hi! Oh, look at it rolling around in there. Alright. I release you, my host. Alright, uh, yep. So, uh, let's clean this up. Let's wash these guys. Oh, they don't even need washing, they wash themselves. Fill this up. He enjoys the bears. Grizzly bears. Alright, well, we're currently at 761. I think I'm gonna have to expand this exhibit. That's. Because I do want more Wellens creatures, and also then I'd kind of just be giving up this whole. you know, space. to waste, but. I also don't really know. I kind of like it how it is, and I do want to use this as like a wolf exhibit later on, like much later, but. I just don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, on the bright side, it means that... Ah, more famous. Of course, this is where we already were, but, you know. This means that I can focus on the penguin exhibit, which I will do now. I'll start focusing on it right now. And, uh, again, we still don't have the concrete fence, so... Oh, and then I'm going to have to move that, but that's fine. I can... I still don't have the concrete fence. Oh, okay. I can move that uh, anywhere, really. I can even move that into the moose exhibit, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to move it over here. All right, now, since the penguins are the only Antarctic animals, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, I only have to make this exhibit big enough for them. Uh, however, I might have several penguins. I do remember in the past, when I play this game, I remember that penguins... Uh, in particular, breed very frequently. I mean, I guess a lot of animals do, but uh, I remember the penguins specifically being uh, rather prolific. So. Yeah, I really want to put it there. So I'm going to do that. And you can't stop me. Now. I'm just gonna turn it like that. See? Problem solved. Oh, Grizzly Bear 2 is going to give birth! Oh, baby Grizzly Bear Cubs! Oh my goodness. I'm shaking from anticipation of how cute they're gonna be. I'll wash first. Definitely. Definitely wanna make sure you've had a good wash before you bring new life into the world. Okay, she's going over there, behind the, over by that tree. Uh oh, Papa Bear's coming. Oh no, he's. Wow, it really is very cute. It looks a lot like, um, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, it, it looks like a cartoon, but, but it's very cute. His little face. Oh! That was cute. All right, wait, wait, wait. Going to rest. All right, let's go. Father, you're taking up too much space. See, this is what happens when you give animals exhibits that are only just big enough for the two of them. And then when they give birth, then you have to remove the father from the equation. Now, little Grizzly Bear 3 has to grow up without a father. <sighs> Poor little girl. But also, it doesn't really matter. It's a zoo environment. Oh, man. Mammals. They're so cute. I'm a big fan of mammals. Look at those paws. Claws, man. Anyway. I mean, it's a zoo environment, you know. It's not like a 
gonna suffer any long-term psychological damage, that's not a thing. Alright, now back to the penguin exhibit. There we go. Yeah, that's a nicely shaped exhibit. I like the <laughs> pit particularly. Uh, I'm gonna put some water in there. So, let's go to penguins. Let's put down the tundra first, so that um, I'm not, like, brushing up against the edge of the water. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, you know, it's funny that I have the tundra and the desert exhibit right next to each other. It's like a, a nice little, um, I, it's kind of like an in-joke, you know? It's like, uh, hey, nature, see what I can do? Yeah. Yeah. Now, maybe it's not the most realistic, but I don't care. This is my zoo. We're going to do it how I want to do it. And also, how it looks to naturally do it. Also that. But what can I say? Did I get money for that tree? I did. Okay. Just making sure. You know, I mean, it's only like $30, but just in case. Yeah, yeah. 24 24 Even less than I imagined previously. But, uh, you know, every little bit counts when I'm living... Paycheck to paycheck. And of course, the penguins can swim, so I'm going to make it deep water. Yeah, this is a little difficult to see. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's fine if they have, like, a little shelf. The shelf makes it, um... The shelf makes it more believable, kind of, maybe, rather than just immediately going to deep water. I don't know. I'm not a, a big water expert. It is a little steep. I think that'll be fine. They can get out over here. Besides, they're penguins. You know, they, they jump. They dive into the water onto this shallow area. Yeah, okay, maybe. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll flatten this out. Flatten. Flat. 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 Can I, can I do that? Flatten. I can. Look at that. Look at me. Wait, no, actually, I don't want to flatten that sh shelf. I want only to flatten this shelf, yeah, like that, and I'm also going to smooth it a bit over there. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I say perfect, but, you know, it's quite nice. I like it. And that way, they can also, oh, see, yeah, it creates, like, this little slide type thing, where it kind of looks even more natural, maybe, or maybe it looks less natural, and I just don't know. I'm a fool. Now they can go, woo, psh, swim around in here. All right, animals, penguins. So we still don't have enough money to adopt one, but that's fine. I'm going to give them some fish. Oh, and I want to get rid of these um, trees. There are no trees in Antarctica. In fact, I don't know. Are there, is there even a single tree on the whole continent? Who knows? Not me. I don't know, do I really like this arctic moss that much? I kind of don't think I do. I'm going to put a one arctic moss there. One... Oh, that's funny. One small tundra rock here. And then I think I'm just going to delete the rest of the foliage. You know, I want their exhibit to look barren and empty. Normally, I'm not a big fan. You know, even the desert exhibit, I left a lot of the boreal forest foliage in. Just, you know, just for fun. Uh, because there's, well, actually, I don't know. There's actually not a bad selection of desert foliage. I can replace some of this. Um, but, Common Zebra 2, Common Zebra 1 is going to give birth. That's great news for Common Zebra 1. I'm thrilled, really I am. And then uh, this, and put this. All oh, right, one of those, or something like. Common zebra one is going to give birth. Now this will also probably result in too much, too little space. My animals are going to be unhappy. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Roll with it. As it were. I love those little squeaks they make. You know, zebras, they're pretty common animals, but I really do like the noises they make. You know, I'm not a big fan of having zebras in my zoo because of how common they are, but... 
and the little zebra foal. Really, pretty cute. Later, when we uh, when we uh, you know have extinct animals, uh, the quagga mixes really nicely with these guys. So I tend to have them in my you know like at least one or two zebras in my quagga exhibit just to fill it out and make it feel more like a herd. Because of course, you know, believe it or not, extinct animals are difficult to get your hands on for the most part. Um, so getting a lot of quaggas is kind of a, you know, a little bit more of a thing. But with, you know, with the uh, the zebras, that can help round it out and make it feel more more full. And so I like zebras then, uh, but until then, not really. Now, that's going to be a little bit. And Oh, and it's the end of the month, so I just lost a bunch of money. But... You know, that's that's fine. I am I kinda of feel like six exhibits now might be a little bit much. A little bit too much for my lone zookeeper. Is that him? Keeper Moon. I forgot all about you, Keeper Moon. I mean I forgot that his name was Moon. That's what I forgot. Uh, obviously I remembered that he existed. Hence the words my little zookeeper running around. Uh but I don't know, my animals don't seem to be suffering from lack of, you know, their exhibits being filled up. Or their food being refilled. So I think I'm going to call it fine for now. If it becomes a problem in the future, I'll fix it. Um, I probably won't... I, I, I just want the stone. I just want the, the stone path. Is that so much to ask? Just give me two stars! How far... How far is a scimitar horned oryx? So I'm probably gonna get a pretty significant fame boost. Critically endangered. I hope that's worth as much as I think it is because you know it sounds like a lot. You know, it's like these are critically endangered animals. Critically endangered. I'm helping change the world for the better by breeding these in my zoo. That should get me some guests. Damn it! But. If it doesn't, then I'll just uh, continue slogging my way through. And, you know, that's that's fine. It really is. All right, two stars. Here we go. New objects are now available for purchase, which means... Oh, man, really? All I've got is the brick path? Well, that's kind of a big disappointment. But on the bright side, I now have... Oh, African Spur Tortoise 2 is now pregnant. Good things, they come in at least twos. I don't really know. Um, so I've got news for you, little guys. I'm about to delete your bathroom. That's that's the news of the day. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to extend this little cliff that it's sitting on. So that, like... Oh, wait. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... American Beaver 1 needs more space? What are you talking about? Just, just sit there and be happy. Thank you. Ugh. Okay, so first I want to get a new restroom. Well, that's kind of a letdown, but it doesn't matter. I still get to hang on. To ah! Oh my goodness, I thought I deleted that guest. Alright, I want the large restroom, and I really don't care how much it costs me. Dun dun dun! Perfect! I mean, it looks nice. And then I'll start using. All these paths are the same. Yeah, I'll start using brick path instead of stone path because even though it looks different, it fits better. You know, it, it molds better. Although, actually, then when I finally do unlock stone path, it's going to be harder to see where I need to change it. Like, I'll forget about that little piece, and then even though I won't know it, it'll still somehow bug me. You know, just how these things work. And then I'm also going to research this compost building again. Oh. Uh, a thousand dollars that's kind of a lot but the compost building is just it just gives me money essentially once i get it and so that's definitely something i want to have um let's see other things that i might want for two stars i could get this little insect house that might educate and entertain my guests a little bit more um Oh, my zoo has become more famous again! So what I need to do is decline all of these so that I can see if I can get some extra zoo fame animals to adopt. And that way, even if it drops down... So if it drops down below two stars, then I'll lose this slot, I think. But if there's a two-star or greater animal in these slots, see, like that ostrich looks like a 
two-star animal, considering I haven't seen it until the... Ah! I lost the slot, but I get to keep the ostrich. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta play your cards, depending. Um, anyway, I want to see if the beaver sticks are available. They are still not available. That's unfortunate. But, you know, these things, they happen. And have I purchased a emperor penguin yet? No, none at all. Then I'm gonna... Okay, this is, this is kind of becoming an issue. <gasps> Alright, I'm just gonna do all these one more time. Komodo dragon. Alright, I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of the ostrich. I mean, I like them. But they're $5,000! Maybe not. Oh, well, that's rubbish. Alright, here we go. We're gonna watch this scimitar horned oryx give birth, and then I think we'll be done with this episode. We made only one new exhibit, but we did finally get to two stars, which is, uh, you know, brilliant. I love getting to two stars. And then we also had both a baby bear, two baby mooses, and a baby zebra. And there's another one on the way somewhere. Yes, very soon, actually. Um, but of course, you know, we've already got one baby zebra, and it's really the baby scimitar horned oryx that I'm interested in. So, uh, here we go. Let's just, uh... Wow, that was quick. Scimitar horned oryx three. All right, guests love my zoo. I'm so happy. And the best thing, well, actually, I don't know about the best thing, but a great, well, that's interesting, I have two, is that when an endangered or critically endangered animal gives birth in your zoo, you get a balloon bouquet, and I wonder, is the grizzly bear endangered? And I got, it is. So I actually already had a balloon bouquet from this grizzly bear, which means, I guess, the scimitar horned oryx, which I didn't even check, the scimitar horned oryx is a male, yes. So, we get these balloon bouquets, which, in an ordinary zoo, I would probably proudly display them next to the exhibit of the animals from which they came. But in this zoo, I can sell them for $250, which is not necessarily a lot, but I'm going to do it anyway. See, now I already have $1,500, which is enough to get me started on a down payment for my new compost building. And of course, it's a good idea to put the compost building far away from the guests. Although, this is a pretty small zoo, now that I'm actually looking at it. I think back here is probably going to be pretty far, because I'm never going to expand back here. Um, whereas, I can't really say the same. I'm probably not going to expand over there, because I like this gazebo view. Let's look at it. You know, I can't go in the gazebo, but, you know, just imagine that I am. Got this nice view of the boreal forest of Sweden, the Swedish forest. Uh, so I think, yeah, and, but all over here, who knows how long it's going to take me to get to three stars, and I might have to expand into all of this. I kind of hope I don't have to, but I may, and I may, you know. Things that happen. So I'm going to leave my compost building way in the back. Oh my, that's quite a pit. I'm definitely going to have to fix some of this before I put any wolves in here, if that is in fact what I'm going to do. Uh, but, hang on. Give me a second. Ah! There we go. I'm going to smooth that out so it looks a little bit more natural. But... Now, as I rake... Oh. Let me in! As I rake poop, it'll get deposited there, and then I can run there and sell it for money. Where, 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 where? Broom, common zebra, six. All right, so we now have two baby zebras, two baby mooses, a baby scimitar horned oryx, my proudest animal so far. Staying close to mother. All right. Well, we're uh, we're now at two stars. So you know, if pattern holds, 
Maybe we can get to three stars next time. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We've got this nice family restroom. So hopefully my guests will be a little happier along with the Discovery Kiosk. But uh, anyway, that's that. Here we go. And um, adios.